G'day brothers, welcome back. And today we are talking glue in bolts. We are talk we, we are tor torquing glue in bolts. Torque we're rotating them. Alright guys, so I'm just doing a little pilot experiment about bolt torque. Basically, right now, I've got a rock. I'm going to install a couple of P-bolts in the rock and I've got a torque meter on here with an I-bolt socket so should just be able to rotate them and see how much torque they can actually handle. So how much torque are we looking for? Well, 150 newton meters as specified in the UIAA rock anchor standard. 150 newton meters sounds like an awful lot frankly because as we've seen previously in my glue testing videos I got 10 millimeter bolts shearing off at 80 newton meters. Yep. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So it seems a little unrealistic, let's say, to expect almost double that out of a 10 millimeter bolt. But hey, I'm sure they put it in, a sta in the standard for a reason. Maybe because torque is something that's a lot easier to test than, say, tension, because instead of a big hydraulic puller thing, you just need basically a torque wrench, and these are pretty common. So the plan is basically two bolts in this rock. Uh, I'm gonna install them sub-optimally, so not recessed, poking out fully. That is not what the manufacturer of these bolts recommends. These are Lapis. Lapis does recommend you recess them, but I know a lot of people don't recess them, and also a lot of manufacturers don't recommend you recess them either. So basically, I'm gonna do what I consider a substandard installation, uh, because frankly, if these are actually recessed properly and glued in with epoxy and stuff, I can't see that rotating at all. So this is more a test of like basically the worst in installation I can think of. As we know, this is not very sticky stuff compared to epoxies. It kind of fills up the gaps. It doesn't really stick to things very well. I'm going to install one right here, the other over here, and then this one, I'm not going to clean the hole either. So it's going to be a really bad installation. So anyway, let's get to it. Okay, clean hole, dirty hole, let's get the glue going. Looks good. Stuff has gone off really fast. Oh, come on, baby, you can do it. You can do it. Damn, okay, that's gone off already. All right. Ah, no, I was gonna try this other one, but <laughs> I was gonna try a different one over here, but nope, she's <laughs> solidified. Oh, God, these glues are useless in this climate. Okay. Well, I haven't timed it, but it's been approximately two and a half, three minutes uh, since I put that in. That is why I do not use this style of glue here, because even on a not very hot day, it's, it's just completely useless. It goes off so fast, but very convenient for doing tests like this. So I'll let them harden a little bit longer and then uh, we'll get talking. This little one here, I had this stone already with a hole drilled in it and I thought, hey, why don't we see what we can do with that? But it turns out not very much actually. <laughs> because <laughs> it hardened on the way in. Oh well, that's glue in. Okay, so it's been uh, about 40 minutes and apparently it's 29 degrees today, so it should be good and hard. Why don't we just try this one first and see what we can actually get out of this. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. What are we? 60. It's starting to return, and that was 59. Yeah, there we go. 30. So that was only in there that much, and that got 60. I think a fully embedded bolt could easily get 150, as long as the steel doesn't break. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, so that's just gotten to 115, and it was rotating that bolt. So the beeping is set to 120 for my car bolts, and so it'll beep as you approach that. So it didn't quite get to 120, got to 115.3. I don't know if you could see it, but it actually did bend slightly or twist slightly. Uh, so if we want 150 Newton meters without moving the bolts, I guess that's failed. Still didn't break or anything though. Let's try the dirty one. Oh my God, oh my God. 30, 30, it was twisting and breaking the rock in there. 30, okay, that's bad. Oh boy, 70, 80, okay, it's going up to 90, 100, all right, 107, oh, it turned right around, so that's obviously a bad installation, that is not going to last very long, Let's see if it comes back the other way, oof, yeah, that's bad, <laughs> bad news, what is that, 40, 40, so basically 40 is what you could do with like a hand spanner, that is not a safe bolt at all. Okay, let me just try this one again. I'll see if we can actually get it moving. So if I can get it there, I can actually hold it, test it according to the standard. Okay, so that's 115. No. Okay, so 118.5, I'd say that's failed. Uh, it hasn't fully come loose, but it has deviated from where it was, it was more or less straight in line with that and now it's down here so i mean that's a fail according to the standard 60 seconds at 150 newton meters but now i actually you know i'm pretty curious okay guys so i wasn't able to actually extract any of these by torque this one you know it rotated around quite a lot that glue has just lost cohesion with the rock completely uh, and then this one was just basically twisting the steel around so as long as the steel is in the glue i don't expect the whole thing to fully rotate uh, because this little wedge at the bottom here should really prevent that from happening regardless of if any of the glue along this knurled part has actually sheared off that part should still be you know stopping it from rotating that said you know according to the standard uh, this one still did actually fail because it did move and i'm sure that actually recessing the eye properly would prevent pretty much any movement at all so it seems like having it not recessed although it's not really going to just pop out from torque it does mean that there's going to be a little bit more twisting there's going to be maybe a little bending of the shaft there where it meets the rock a bit of metal fatigue things like that anyway interesting stuff as always <laughs> for me i guess <laughs> i don't know who's gonna watch this so it kind of goes without saying clean your holes you know it's not rocket science now this type of glue vinyl ester glue it's not really as sticky as epoxy epoxies are like super glue and they will probably tolerate a dirty hole a lot better than this stuff will uh, but that's kind of scary that did not take much force to turn at all so anyway i will uh keep playing with this See if I can actually get them out eventually. But for now, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, because this was just a little pilot experiment, uh, let us know in the comments. And otherwise, I'm just going to keep recommending people notch their bloody glue in bolts. Because if that is buried in the rock, she ain't turning. Anyway, scratches later.